Today is the launch of a pedal very close to my heart as it's the second collaboration between myself and my mate Andy over at Funny Little Boxes. So if you're a fan of Queens of the Stone Age tones, then you may be interested in this. The Funny Little Boxes Skeleton Key. It's an original circuit, it's not a PV Decade clone or anything like that. It's designed to give you the Queens of the Stone Age core tone with the minimum of fuss. We've got a very simple layout of gain, tone and volume, all of which are very interactive. But one of my absolute favourite things about this pedal is the artwork. The pedal features original artwork by Boneface, who has worked for many years with the Queens of the Stone Age since their like clockwork album. And check out the control labels. They're actually in his handwriting, which he also uses for all of their um, album lyrics. And we absolutely love it, but obviously I can't be impartial here. So with that said, let's check out some tones. Now, before we get started, I want to show you my amp settings. I'm using my Morgan MVP66 throughout this whole demo, and I'm not going to touch any of the settings on the amp. So first up, my clean tone. <laughs> And so you can hear the amp isn't completely clean, right? There's a bit of a bit of grit there already. And so with these sayings, let's kick off with the lost art of keeping a secret. Goes a bit like this. <laughs> cool but when you dig in for the chorus part you get a lot more gain check it out also worth pointing out it cleans up nicely on the guitar volume as well So nice to have that at your disposal too. Now, next up with these settings are the classic go with the flow. We're still in C standard, but we've uh, cranked the gain a little bit more. And this has got such a great growl to it. It goes like this. Also got <laughs> next up with these settings again all I've changed is the gain which I've turned up a little bit that's at about three o'clock and the tones back at about nine and I really like this one for little sister we're in uh, E standard now okay <laughs> Now, whilst the bulk of this is going to be humbuckers, I do want to show you it with single coils and with P90s as well. But I mean, obviously, the difference to single coils is they're, you know, a bit thinner. <laughs> sounds pretty nice but i really want to show you neck position if we add the hungry beaver to it which is a, a felt like a big muff style fuzz pedal <laughs> So you do get that upper octave jumping out with those two together, right? The Hungry Beaver is getting you most of the way there, uh, because if I turn off the skeleton key... Then with the skeleton key on... And what's nice about that is that you can just stamp on one extra pedal to get your lead tone, turn that off and you're straight back to your rhythm tone. Next up, I want to show you Sick, Sick, Sick. I'm using 
the same settings as I did for Little Sister, but I'm going to use the volume knob on the pedal, just turn it up ever so slightly, just to get a little bit more gain going. So we currently have this, which is the same setting as before. <laughs> So the volume previously was on about two o'clock. I think that's roughly where Unity gain is. But if I turn that up to three o'clock, we then have this. You know, you've got a little bit of extra bite and you also get a little bit of brightness as well but without sacrificing any sort of you know grunt now for the next tune we're going to look at song for the dead i've only tweaked from the previous one the tone i've increased it ever so slightly and you'll really hear the almost cocked wah kind of nasally sort of tones uh, that you get when you're going for the fill the main riff is awesome it goes like this <laughs> especially now let's take that one step further I'm gonna crank the gain right the way up so we've got quite a lot going on now much more saturated tone but if I drop the uh, tone right the way down to zero, and I think we've got a decent tone for first it giveth. <laughs> great tune and with the next one we're in e standard now and we're going to keep hitting the front of the amp volumes up full but i've just tweaked the gain in the tone of us so slightly so you're going to get that nice chug <laughs> i mean i'm probably being overly picky i could probably tweak it ever so slightly again just to Roll a bit of the treble off. Next up, we're going to look at some P90s, and I'm going to go for um, less gain this time. So, this is my clean tone. These are quite high output pickups actually, I have to say. And we're gonna look at a sat by the ocean and uh, in terms of just tone shaping, I'm not really adding any gain particularly. Check this out. So you're getting, you know, that, that low end growl, but the upper notes still ring out nice and cleanly. Let's go back to the first album, Regular John. That's got a really nice tone. Again, still growly. Quite a bit of distortion there. But compare that with If Only. Same album, but a really, really different tone. I've cranked the tone up, but I've just come back on the gain a little bit and we can get into the ballpark of that much thinner tone now it'd be remiss for me to not look at the new album as well let's do paper machete with these settings <laughs> We 
got that going on, right? But there is um, a little bit of slapback delay on there as well. So allow me to play you out with that. Hope you enjoyed the vid. See you soon.